Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Today's story is called, What's the Worst That Could Happen? Written by Yuande Daniela Yode, illustrated by Renetta Logina. Now this wonderful book is about a sweet little girl who had to conquer her fears in order to have friends at school. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. Every day since she started third grade at a new school, Kayla Thomas sat alone at lunchtime. Today, Kayla determined, I will ask Naomi, Samantha and Bianca if I can sit with them. <sighs> so, Kayla marched boldly into the cafeteria. She grabbed the lunch tray and stopped. Now Kayla knew what would happen when she walked over and asked to sit with Naomi, Samantha and Bianca. Her throat would get scratchy, a tummy wobbly, and every word she had ever learned would fly out of her brain so she couldn't think of a single thing to say. Now Kayla also knew what her grandma would say. Face your fear, Kayla. What's the worst that could happen? Now Kayla tried to imagine it. So Kayla found an empty table and ate a egg salad alone. <sighs> now a few days later, in gym class, it was time for volleyball drills. Find the partner, announced Mr. McQuillan. We are going to practice our bombs and serves. Now Kayla looked around the gym. Naomi had smiled at her twice in the hallway yesterday. I want Naomi to be my partner, Kayla thought to herself. But what if she says no? And then she remembered Grandma's advice. What's the worst that could happen? She thought. <sighs> and then Kayla hid in the washroom until gym class was over. Now that afternoon, Kayla said to her brother Eric, I want to make friends, but I'm scared of what will happen. So I run away instead of trying. And Eric grunted a reply. Now he had autism and didn't speak, but she knew he meant to say, I know how you feel. Next time, take a deep breath and try to stay calm. And Kayla watched Eric play with his dino troopers. And just then, the new orange dino trooper came on TV. And Eric pointed and made happy sounds. And Kayla sighed. <sighs> she had tried to get it for him for Christmas, but it was so popular that he had been sold out. And the next day, Naomi approached Kayla at school. Kayla panicked. Her throat got scratchy, her tummy wobbled, and she could just feel the words flying out of her brain. Look down, walk away, she thought. But this time, Kayla took a deep breath and lifted the corner of her mouth. 
into a tiny smile. Will you come to my party on Saturday? Naomi asked, placing an invitation in Kayla's hand. Yes, thank you, Kayla said in a small squeaky voice. She put her head up and stole a glance at Naomi. Now, that wasn't so bad, Kayla thought as Naomi walked away. On Saturday, Mom dropped her off at the party. And as Kayla walked into the room, she took a deep breath to calm a beating heart. What's the worst that could happen? And as they had lunch and watched The Wizard of Oz, Kayla's heart slowed and she forgot all about being scared. She even responded when Bianca asked her if she had ever seen The Wizard of Oz. And at the end of the party, Naomi's mom announced the contest to win a special prize. Kayla gasped. Her heart began to gallop again. It was the toy that Eric wanted. What would she have to do to win it? Now, kids, whoever sings a song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow from the movie wins this toy. Mrs. Law said, Oh no! Kayla really wanted that toy, but she couldn't sing in front of everyone. Her stomach twisted and twirled, and her chest pounded, and her forehead got all sweaty. What should she do? So Naomi slid her to her side and whispered, Do it! Do it, Kayla! I know you can! Because I saw your mouth moving during the movie! Well, I know all the words, Kayla thought. What's the worst that could happen? And she imagined that is so silly. And Kayla laughed. And she turned to Naomi. Will you sing with me, please? And Naomi's face broke into a huge smile. Sure, she said. And a week later, Kayla took the dino trooper under the Christmas tree. And she imagined Eric's excitement on Christmas Day and smiled. And then she wrapped the second gift and addressed it to a new friend, Naomi Lou. <laughs> Yet. Wow, what a wonderful story. She finally learned to conquer fears and she made a new friend. Thank you for joining us again, boys and girls, for this wonderful story time. We thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.